Hello, hello. If you saw yesterday's video, Kyle vs Kojin, we saw a complete domination by Kojin. But this game is not from long after. If I take a look at the dates uh, of these files that have been sent to me, this is only from four days after. We've got Rainbow Shadow vs Kojin here. Previously we had uh, Kyle vs uh, Kojin on Arrowwalk. And this is a two-part series, by the way. We're going to have another one. But he beat me on Stormkeep twice is in reference to Kyle. So I know I said Kyle was fairly new and that was an older demo. It was apparently not. I looked at the date after. But this... It, Kyle either got incredibly good, incredibly fast, or Kojin's an absolute incredible beast because Rainbow Shadow is an incredible player. But this is going to be a great game. Let's get into it. We're on Final Rage, which in my first ever demo casting, I called Stormkeep. And, yeah, we're actually on Final Rage. One of my favourite maps in the game. Uh, a very small map that feels really big when you're first playing it. It's actually incredible that some people try to play, like, 4v4 on this thing. It's a very Quake 1 would work in 4v4, but, you know, outside of Quake World... Coach, you're moving in for the, uh, moving in for the fight. He loves these fake outs. I've got to be honest. There's a lot of players. Rainbow is probably one of the players that may fall for a fake out. There's a lot of players that wouldn't fall for a fake out because they wouldn't notice that someone's done anything like that. They wouldn't really notice the sound, notice where it's coming from. A lot of good players as well. But Rainbow is one of the types of players who would probably notice it, and that could give you an advantage. Kojin having to escape now. One of the key points in Duel, knowing when to, well, in any in any fighting thing, knowing when the hell to get out of dodge. And this is the point where Rainbow just needs to get out, but he can't, so it is better to try uh, try something. Unfortunately, Rainbow couldn't land that shot, that, um, just clipping, just landing a little bit short, clipping that wall. Because Kojin was on very low health at that point, but now he's managed to stack up pretty well. Gets it up through the floor shot. Now, Rainbow Shadow trying to find himself some stack. The items are going to be up. You can shoot rockets through. Kojin's going to hear the, uh, the Mega be taken. Take another frag down. After taking a little bit of self damage. I... <laughs> Too much clan arena, Kojin. We've seen you using every weapon to um, to do rocket jumps instead of just using the blaster. Oh, an unfortunate spawn for Rainbow, but he is able to connect a meaty shotgun shot. What I would like to, as I've been watching far too much TF2 recently, refer to as a scout shot now. When, uh, when your shotgun does a lot of damage. Because sometimes you stand up there... You take the shot with the shotgun, you point blank, it does like three damage. And sometimes you're about three miles away and it absolutely connects like a bomb. Kojin, using this, uh, using this arc, it is interesting, the arc versus the machine gun. Much more powerful weapon, but at the same time it rapidly depletes your necks and uh, your vortex net slash necks and crylink ammo. So this weapon here, one of the most powerful weapons in the game. But she's used to shared ammo, it is the same ammo. It's not a massive issue. This game doesn't have huge amounts of ammo reservation. Um, but once you've... If you were to go into a prolonged fight without being able to pick up items, it could be an issue. Less in duel. Yes, less in duel. Um... Ammo preservation in TDM is quite a thing. Oh, incredible movement through by Rainbow Shadow. Uh, Kojin just cannot manage to get uh, get a prediction on where he's moving right now. If you look, he's hunting for him, searching for him, and each time he managed to evade. That's quite incredible Rainbow Shadow play. I've seen him do that a few times, really. He's, uh, it's a very, very, very tricky thing to do, really. Is to, to fake someone out, to evade someone, especially someone as knowledgeable about the game as Kojin is. It's it's quite a feat to have managed to just simply outsmart him and outmaneuver. 
Rainbow is an incredible defrag player as well, though. Uh, I believe top five. But it might have been just outside the top five, but certainly top ten at last year's defrag World Cup. And... Oh, God. I forgot we had that. I completely forgot that that respawn point was a thing. Um... Yeah, so definitely got the movement, but it's all about that managing to um, managing to evade your opponent by the technical means, by the the mere outsmarting. Rainbow taking quite a bit of damage to that LG pin. This LG doesn't have or arc doesn't have too much knockback. Um, so it's it's more difficult to do a proper like hard pin like you could in Quake Three, or certainly Quake One. But it does have a fair bit of knockback. Great shots there from Rainbow Shadow. Picking up the pieces and managing to grab some frags where possible. Getting good damage in again. This is another thing, sort of. Kojin's really on the back foot right now, despite still picking up a good amount of items. Constantly being in the fights for them. It seems to be two frags Rainbow, one frag Kojin right now. And Rainbow, every time Kojin manages to pick up an item, he's managed to melt away that armour or health or whatever. Which really is great. That's that's a great way to play. That 50 is hanging though. There's a 50 down at the bottom which is absolutely hanging. And I think um, Rainbow has too much health to be able to pick it up right now. He might go grab it now. Now he's gone over there. That's probably where he's going to have gone to. But yeah, Kojin leaving. It is a risky one. The, that 50 is a very risky 50 to go for. You are protected while you're there. But you kind of can't get out of it. So you have to make sure that you know when you're going. Beautiful rocketry from Rainbow to be able to beat that 1v1. Very even match. But look at that two rails it took to take down Rainbow after that fight. Uh, yeah, they went in, I believe, on even stacks. I would say it wouldn't, wouldn't probably be too, too far off. But Rainbow managing to avoid just playing the dodge and weave. Beautiful leading frag gets right in there. Cogent, like say, playing really fast now. Rainbow's just not able to evade like he was. Either Cogent's managed to pick up uh, exactly Rainbow's style of movement, and maybe Rainbow's just a little bit frustrated there. Uncharacteristic of Rainbow to make a movement mistake, but look at that. Just an incredible little bit of uh, cut the cornering going on from Rainbow. Kojin's defense on that mega. Very classic position to play. A lovely rocket to finish things off. Great shot there. Can't find the second. Can he find the rocket? Manages to find the rocket. Kojin constantly opening up with the um, with the vortex. But he's about to run out of vortex ammo actually. He's probably got to be careful of that. Yeah, it does pick up that... Um, Picks up the Crylink, which is just Vortex ammo, if you need it. Has forgotten that he could also pick up the old, uh, the old Arc and get some Vortex ammo as well. Isn't going to be able to make it. Two minutes left on the clock right now. 17 to 10 is your current scoreline. And making some absolute connections here. Kojin has absolutely still got it, like... He, he came back and immediately still had it. I was talking about it in the last game. There's certain things that you lose and certain things you don't lose. And the things you don't lose are the things that it takes so much practice. That map knowledge, that ability to read where your opponent's going. Even though Kojin, uh, Rainbow was outsmarting Kojin, it was definitely a outsmarting a smart player. Not a managing to trick a dumb player you know it was incredible play beating out really good play 
not rainbow went left then right you know feigned out but an incredible game here looks like it's going to be coming down to the wire rainbow managing to blaster himself to death with a perfectly timed neck shot from cogent collecting up a few more frags is probably over right now there's a theoretical chance the yeah 14 frags 30 seconds very unlikely beautiful shooting from both players great game Kojin played it well there will be a second part to this I have both the demos there was a rematch right after played only three minutes after this game ends so we're going to be taking a look at that next but just to finish off a little bit of a slap fest nearly take I mean the slaps very powerful always has been and beautiful fragging from both players 26 to 9 for Cogent. Great play, great control, really controlled the map. Did get kind of uh, stuck a little bit in the middle, but it wasn't terrible. It was, like I say, two for Rainbow and one for Cogent. And sometimes you'll see it just completely swing the other way, and then Cogent was managed to regain control, absolutely take it, and put the hammer down. Definitely something I noticed, you can see here on the items, uh, down to the bottom corner of the scoreboard in the middle, both end, uh, both sides of the screen. you got 11 small armors, the 50, for Rainbow Shadow and 3 for Kojin. Like I was saying, Kojin just leaving that hanging. It is a risky one to go for and I saw at least, I can think of 3 times where Rainbow Shadow went for it and died while getting it. So, not always the greatest play to go for it can be really good but you really just never know anyway fantastic game thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the second part of this one thanks for watching